So this is a really transformational and visionary philanthropy that allowed this to become possible. So this is a $70 million gift from the Tata Trust in India to fund two institutes, one here at UC San Diego and a second one to be created in India. And the two will work collaboratively to tackle problems of worldwide importance. The vision is to take a new form of uh, genetics called active genetics and apply it in a socially conscious manner to tackle human health and agriculture. Active genetics is the ability to transmit to the progeny um, an element with 100% efficiency. And the simplest incarnation of it is you have a genetic element that you've built, a cassette as it's referred to, like for example one that could be used to immunize mosquitoes against malaria. And instead of having just half of the offspring get it, you engineer it so that all of them get it. We're talking about a variety of insect-borne diseases that could potentially be addressed in a very important, impactful way. The Tata Institute provides us now for the first time the opportunity to bring a large number of people with different expertises together to, to address this issue of moving the technology from the field. So in addition to, once again, the scientists, uh, we also have people involved in community engagement, regulatory aspects, who need to be part of this effort in order to move these insects from the laboratory uh, into operational use in the field. I believe that it will be equally applicable to, um, to vertebrates, so therefore to mammals and to plants. Any sexually reproducing organism, I think it will work in. And so that opens a huge number of possibilities in agriculture, in livestock management, in research. I think the um, impact of this technology um, will be broad. What's important to know is that the types of technologies we're developing are highly targeted. And so, for example, unlike insecticides, which if you put out into the environment will impact other organisms and humans, the technologies we're developing are very specific. They only go after the insect that we've designed them against. In this case, mosquitoes that transmit malaria. So we think that the technologies offer something to the public, which is the careful application and control of a, of a very important group of insects that transmit diseases without any collateral damage, so to speak. So we, we, we think that that's very significant. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity where outstanding science is coupled with the visionary philanthropy and the power of collaboration to really attack global problems uh, that impact humanity in a positive way.